this this is uh, a letter from Lee to the Board of Trustees in August of 1865, um, accepting the presidency, but not accepting it, not, not willingly uh, accepting it. Lee goes into great detail in this very lengthy paragraph. You can see, you can get a better, uh, that very top paragraph, which is very long. He goes into great detail about why he cannot be president of this school. He says, I can't, I'm, I'm worn out. I'm not a citizen. I, I can't bring shame on this school uh, by accepting this position when I'm not even a citizen. And we, we hear often about Lee's hu humility, and that, that's one of his characteristics that sort of has stood the test of time. So this lengthy paragraph about why he cannot be president, and then in a very few short lines he says, should you, however, and it's on the back here, should you, however, take a different view and think that my services in the position tendered me by the board will be advantageous to the college and country, I will yield to your judgment and accept it. Otherwise, I must most respectfully decline the offer. And the amazing thing is, this is August 24th, 1865. We have the printed, ca what would be the catalog, the equivalent to the catalog, uh, and it has the list of courses, which classes were going to start about two and a half weeks later, after, the, after this letter's dated. It's pretty obvious that the trustees had already figured he was going to accept it, because this is, this is printed letterhead, and it's got Robert E. Lee president at the top. You know, so they already had the letterhead done. 